Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another exciting episode of PCB. I'm your host Umar Mubashir. In today's video, we will discuss about the scientific notations and also the significant figures. So let's get started. All right guys, now in today's video, I will be discussing about two topics. The first one is power of tens and the second one will be significant figures. Now, in the very first chapter of the units and measurements, uh, you basically learn about how to write very large numbers or very small values of physical quantities in scientific notation, also known as the powers of tens. Now, it's basically a very short way of writing very large or very small numbers. For example, the speed of light, as we know, is what 300,000 kilometers per second per hour per second sorry or also three with eight zeros so one two three four five six seven eight meter per second now that's quite a large number and instead of writing this value all of it we can basically write it in a shorter way and that is known as the scientific notation or we call also the powers of 10. So how we we write it? What's the rule for that? Well, for starter, the first rule is that you are going to write the non-zero digit. Okay, the first non-zero digit, which in this case obviously is what? Three. So I'm gonna write it down three. Now, we also know that at the end of any number, there's always a decimal point. So that decimal point is going to jump from this position and it will come right before, sorry, right after the first non-zero digit, which in this case is 3. So that will be 3.0 times 10 to power. Now the power here will be the number of digits that the decimal point has jumped now in this case it has jumped how many digits one two three four five six seven and eight so that will be three times eight meter per second so three times ten to the power eight meter per second that's the way how you wrote a scientific notation now let's take an ex a look at this example 300,000 kilometer per second similar way you're gonna write 3.0 times 10 to the power now remember the de the decimal point sorry is at the end of 300,000 and that's gonna jump here and just before 3 so how many digits it had passed 1 2 3 4 and 5 and that will be equal to 3 times 10 to the power 5 kilometer per second so as you can see here that instead of writing the whole digit which could be a very large value you can write it like this Let's look at some more examples. For example, I have a number 107,000. Now you want to write it in the scientific notation. So again, the decimal point will come always after the first non-zero digit, which in this case is what? 1. So I'm going to write 1.07 times 10 to power how many digits it has passed? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That will be equal to 1.07 times 10 to the power 5. Let's take a look at one more example now. 2, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So let's just see. Now in that situation, again, the rule, as I told you, the decimal point will be after the first non-zero digit, which in this case is 2.4 times 10 to the power again the decimal point has jumped from this position to here how many digits it has jumped one two three four five six and seven so 2.4 times 10 to the power seven now let's take a look at the values which are very very small how you are going to convert very small values to into scientific notation okay so let's just say you have a digit which is 0 0.0000025, for example. Now instead of writing all of this number, you can write it in a scientific notation. Again, 
like I said before, it will be 2.5 times 10 to the power. Now, how many digits it has jumped? It has jumped 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. However, it won't be 2.5 times 10 to power 6, but it will be 2.5 times 10 to power negative. So the rule that you have to remember here is that if the decimal point jumps from the left to the right side in a number, then the power will always be negative. Conversely, if the decimal point is jumping from the right to the left across a number, then the power will always be positive. Okay, so remember this rule when you are converting the scientific notation. Let's take a w example, one more, one more look at, one more example, 0 0.000 for 0. Now in this case, the decimal point will fall right after 4. So 4.0 times 10 to power, it has jumped how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 digits. So it will be negative 5. All right. Now, what if you have a value in scientific notation and you want to, you know, convert it into a standard form? Then how you can how you can do it? For example, I have a number, let's just say, 2.8 times 10 to power 5. Now, to write it in a standard form, you will write 2, 8, and then, now, since the decimal point has to jump from here, how many digits? 5 digits, okay? So, 2, 8, now 8 is the first one. It's the first digit that the decimal point has jumped. Then, how many more remaining? 4 more remaining. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and there it is. So, basically, it's 280,000. All right, guys. Now, one more example. What if the value is in negative or with the power of negative tens? For instance, let's just say we have 1.7 times 10 to the power negative 3. In this case, you what will happen? The decimal point will jump to this side by how many num digits? 3 digits. So 1, 2, and 3. There you go. So it's basically 0 0.007 there you go i hope you guys understand so let's move to the next topic which is significant figures now for significant figures the first thing that you need to know is that what are significant numbers or what do we mean by significant figures significant figures basically are the numbers of a digit in a value often a measurement that contribute to the degree of accuracy of the value. So we start counting significant figures at the first non-zero digit. Now to determine the number of significant figures in a number, use the following through rule, three rules. Number one, non-zero digits are always significant. Number two, any zero between two significant digits are significant number three a final zero or trailing zero in the decimal portion only are significant okay now what does that mean so i'm going to give, explain these three rules with the help of the examples for example let's just say i have a number One zero zero, and then I have another number. One hundred. Now, can if you see the difference between these two numbers is that here I did not put the decimal point, and here I put the decimal point at the end. So what 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 does this mean? It means that here it could be any number of zeros or these zeros before the one they don't have any significance at all okay so in this case how many number of significant figures are there just one only and how many significant numbers are there well there are three significant numbers because the number of zeros which will come 
after it. That's according to the third rule which I just discussed. So between after the non-zero digit and before the decimal point. Okay, we call them the trailing digits. So trailing zeros, they will have significance. Now, let me give you another example. So here, I have a number 0 0.002. Now in this case, these zeros do not have any significance at all. Okay, so how many significant numbers are there? It's just one. Although, if I have a number 1, 2, 0, 2, in this case, the significant numbers are 4. Here, the 0 has a significance. Why? Because according to the second rule, any zeros or the numbers of zeros that will come between the two non-zero digits will have a significance. So in this case, you have 1, 2, 3, and 4 significant figures. Now, why you need to know this? Because mostly when you will solve the problems related to physics in past papers, you have to write your answer up to two or mostly three significant figures, not more than that. So it's really important that you should know how to round up the significant figures. Now, what do, you, do I mean by rounding up the significant figures? For example, let's just say I'm doing some calculation and I calculated the mass of an object to be, let's just say, 100, you know, 1,250 kilograms. Now, if the instructions given to me in the question are that I have to round the answer up to two significant figures, now that will be 1300 kilograms. Because, as I told you before, that the zeros after does not have any significance, okay? So, that's two significant figures. Now, here, what you need to understand that 50 that digit 5 I have to round it up to the next so what I will do is that I'm going to add 1 to the last you know the last significant in which in this case is 2 so 2 plus 1 that gives us 3 so it is 1300 another example for example I'm measuring some length and I got the length to be 200 for example the length that I got here is 1240 meter now again I had to round it up to three significant figures now the last two digit or the third last digit if it is five or more than five then I'm going to add one to the second last digit like I did in before here when I was calculating mass but in this case since it's four which is obviously less than five so I'm gonna write it as it is which it will be 1200 meters so basically this is how I round up the values. Let me give you another value example. So let's just say uh, there is the density of some object and the density is you know 0 0.015 gram per centimeter cube for example. Now I have to round it up to two significant figures. So it's already, by the way, round up to two signals. So I don't have to do any changes in it because remember, this zero does not have any significance, okay? So it's gonna re re remain as it is 0 0.015 gram per centimeter cube, okay? No need of rounding up at all. But let's just say we have another example in which you have 0, 0, 1, 2, 5. Now in this case, I'm gonna round it up to two significant figures. That will be 0, 0.00. 1, 3. Okay. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you liked and enjoyed the video. Thank you.